after several years of planning it was finally time for us to set foot in our dream destination japan and in this series we will bring to you all our experience from this two weeks vacation to start off in this video we will show you how we landed there and share with you some of our tips for traveling in japan we flew from Paris to Shanghai and then to Osaka, Japan from Shanghai using China Eastern. Eshe gechi amra abar airport e ebar jabo Osaka. Na, ebar jabo amra Japan. Sare 11 ghontar flight 11 and a half hours. Ki korbo amra? Cinema dekhbo. ঘুমাবো একটা ম্যাগাজিন জোগাড় করেছি এয়ারপোর্ট থেকে সেইটা দেখবো পড়বো টাইম কাটাবো অবভিয়াসলি বোর্ডিং স্টার্ট হচ্ছে সুন্দর দেখতে ফ্লাইটটা টেবিলটা কি সুন্দর আমার বোন এসেছে আমাদের সিঙ্গাপুর সুন্দর সুন্দর খাবার খেয়েছে যেটা ছবি আমরা আপলোড করবো সিম And we've reached in Imamiya train station. Now it's going to be a four minute walk to the hotel. This is the ticket gate of Imamiya. Now we are going towards our hotel. We are going towards our hotel. Imamiya station. First glimpse of Sakura is going to be good. But okay. 10.30 is going to be good. অতটা ভিড় নয় কালকে আসল রূপার পাচ্ছি পাচ্ছি ঠিক আছে লসন এতদিন দেখতাম টিভিতে ভিডিওতে আপ ক্লোজ দু দুটো রাস্তার এপারে আর ওপারে ট্রেডিশনাল রুম টাকা দিয়ে মাটিতে ঘুমাবো অ্যান্ড এসব ফানি লুকিং জিনিসপত্র পরে নিয়েছি আওয়ার হোটেল হ্যাড আ ট্রেডিশনাল জ্যাপানিজ সেটিং উইচ উই এনজয়েড কোয়াইট আ বিট এজ আ ফার্স্ট এক্সপিরিয়েন্স
We hope that you will enjoy watching our next videos of the Japan series. Let's go through a few of our Japan traveling tips in this video, which we learned during our stay there. While planning your trip to Japan, there must be few points to be remembered. And the primary one is the fact that cash is king. In Japan, you need to carry cash as much as possible as this is the one which is mostly used to pay the entrance fees to shrines, buy tickets for subways, local buses, etc. You can also use a Suica card in most places or international debit or credit card for making payments. Japan's legendary convenience stores known locally as konbini like Lawson, 7-Eleven and Family Mart make life convenient as they offer a surprising area of food, drinks, snacks including reasonably priced coffee. And on top of this, they have a wide range of travel goods and toiletries. You can also find ATMs to withdraw cash using your overseas credit or debit cards as we did inside 7-Eleven. One of the many good things about traveling in Japan is the presence of these coin lockers which are used to store luggages. The prices can vary depending on the size and the duration of your storage, ranging from 50 yen to 1000 yen. Japan is well known for its fancy toilets which have an array of buttons to control various features including small and large flushes, a bidet, a dryer and an automatic lid opener. Also, contrary to the beliefs, they do provide toilet papers in the public toilets or the toilets in general. So you're all set. Japanese society is known for its emphasis on politeness and it's apparent everywhere throughout the country. During the train rides, you will occasionally see conductors bowing to you, carriages are spotlessly clean and departures are super punctual. There are also queue in the designated areas. One also has to take care not to talk loudly on the phone or in person as this is generally considered rude. In Japan, in various train stations, museums, shrines, there are free stamps available. And so we recommend taking notebooks with you to collect them at every opportunity you get. Trust us as we say that this will be one of your primary souvenir and memory from this beautiful country. You need to buy a pocket Wi-Fi or eSIM like we did for the trip and also need to carry a portable battery pack to keep your phone charged since this is very very essential because you will need your phone for navigation, translation and photography. And trust us, Google Maps should be there in your phone all the time on because that will be your savior. Japan has an excellent transport system including the Shinkansen and generally tickets are pre-reserved but getting tickets for local trains and subways are usually done from the station by paying using cash or Suica card. Although it may look confusing initially but the routes are clearly marked and you just have to follow the signs to get on board. We hope that you have been inspired from this video and if you have then please do give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Subscribe to our channel for more videos.